Hey YouTube, Murray Mayhem here. <sighs> Long day at work, good day at work, can't beat it. Um, this video has kind of been a long time coming. I'm going to pause it, uh, check some notes, uh, then make some comments on it and everything. Uh, this is going to be related to being safe uh, while you're going to uh, purchase items from uh, Craigslist and stuff. Uh, I had worked uh, in the corporate world, this is kind of funny, uh, wore a suit for years and years and years. Uh, had a bunch of suits and uh, did, did commercial and residential real estate for years. And uh, uppity fellow wore real prissy suits and everything. And the economy tanked, lost everything. I was overextended the way it is. My fault. And so I fell back onto stuff that I always kind of knew and worked with. And I'd always been good with my hands. I'd always worked in a rural or agricultural environment. Uh, tractors, bush hogs, stuff like that, trailers, stuff like that. And I'd always been able to uh, uh, go through a motor, work on it, fix it, no problems. Um, but, you know, it, it, it was a learned trait. Um, I'm not saying I, I was a genius with it, but you know, I did okay. And so for several years, I fed myself and my family, uh, my wife Shauna and our daughter and uh, kids and everything, buying and selling farm equipment off of Craigslist or, you know, putting out ads and stuff like that. I'd buy them and fix them up, sell them, uh, clean them up, prep them, pressure wash them, do stuff like that and everything. And this is just, uh, I did the video uh, where I'd almost gotten robbed, and uh, and this is one of the ones that I wanted to talk about. This thing may long run long, because hell, I'm already into this thing like two minutes, just, just uh, prefacing this. But I thought it might be a good time to do it, and I had talked to uh, uh, Nighthawk86855. He left a really, really great comment and told a story about what almost had happened to him on that uh, uh, that video that I've done, a response. And it was a great video, uh, or it was a great comment, and go to it, and, that my almost got robbed video, and, and take a look at uh, Nighthawk's uh, comment. Uh, it's really good, uh, it, and it was very concise. It, 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 it met with the situation, uh, I have to say. So, hell, we're at three minutes now. So, I just wanted to give you a brief overview, some tips that what I always did to be safe and like I said I did I still do it but uh, I mean I did it to make a living and pay for my family and feed us for years so more to come now we're already into the three minute mark on this video so I may break this video into two pieces I, I, I'm sorry I don't like to do that but uh, I think it actually might be important but what I would do I would uh, see something advertised on Craigslist, um, an old ride mold, uh for X amount, and I'd put out ads in, on Craigslist and everything, and people would say, oh, well, I'll sell it to you for $150, come out and pick it up. Okay, let's say $150, that's great. And I'd say, okay, let me get your address and a uh, phone number where I can get in touch with you, and they, and they start telling me directions and everything. I said, okay, that's great. I said, I've, I've also got my GPS, and I, I'm gonna move the camera around as I'm, as I'm talking and everything, and so I can put it into my GPS, and so I can find it easy. Okay, now there is one thing right there. GPS is a record, and uh, you, you actually have a record of it should something happen to you. So I'd always put it into my GPS right there, and then that way it's all good uh, most of the GPS's nowadays are great and you don't have a problem uh, most of them are pretty correct so there you go and then the, the next thing would just always be aware when you're driving out to that area if they sound hinky or if they, they sound sketchy and everything um, the little hairs on the back of your neck stand up listen to that stuff uh, that that's critical to survival um, be aware look around. Also, I, I'm a big 
gun advocate. I'm a gun nut. Um, and you've seen all my uh, shooting videos. If you watch me for any length of time, love guns. Love to shoot. Love to shoot and carry responsibly. None of this cowboy crap. Um, which, you know, if that's your thing, yeehaw. But it's not mine. Um, and carry responsibly. Take the training. Um, one of the things, and this will kind of make some people mad, and, and instead of buying that $3,000 AR that you're looking at, um, a lot of people need to buy the $1,000 AR and do $2,000 of training and range time. That might be something you need to think about. But th that's a whole different video right there. Now I'm going to spin you around. I'm going to show you what my truck is situated when I would go to somebody's property to, to pick up their farm equipment. Sometimes I'd take a trailer. Sometimes I'd be buying a trailer. Um, so, you, you know, different different things. Sometimes I'd be buying a tractor. Uh, but just want to spin you around and show you this. More to come, guys. Okay, guys, now we're back. And I am simulating, uh, you, you know, that I pulled up in front of somebody's property. This is my house. You know that. That's my car. Uh, that's my driveway out there. But also, what you can see just in the bottom left-hand corner is... Uh, a box and I always throw a box up there if I'm going to a place like this now I will not do this if I'm going into uh, uh, one of Alabama powers restricted areas uh, to uh, check on some equipment for them in my regular day job because that would get me arrested and, and like in jail because it's a hardened security center and you don't want to do that but up here is a box of uh, Winchester white box 9 millimeters just laying up there just laying up there with my hat. That's one of the first things people see when I pull up under their property. And I'm clean cut, nicely shaven, you know, when I go to these places. So they don't really think. They just, they look at that and they thought, huh, okay, well, that's the way it is. Now I want to show you also in my, my truck. Here's my personal carry. I always carry a gun. Um, Heck, sometimes I carry several, uh, but it, it's always right here. When I get pulled over by a police officer, I put my hands on the steering wheel. I have my driver's license and registration and everything in my hand already, and I tell them, officer, I carry a, a you know, I have a, a permit to carry. You know, don't get an argument with them. And here it is, and it's right down here by my right hip. What do you want me to do? And they say, okay, good, stay there, keep your hands up where you are, and you're good. Um, so, that's the kind of stuff I do. I have my cell phone handy. Uh, one of the things you want to do, have a good address and a good phone number. And when you have that good address and your good phone number of wherever you're needing to go, you give that to your wife, your girlfriend, your mother, your buddy, whoever you're in business with. So, you would have a log so somebody will know where you're going to be. That being said, I'm going to be at 556 Maple Drive uh, this afternoon at 5 o'clock to pick up a uh, bush hog from Randy for $400. And then I'd load, you know, then, then you, you, you have all that information and you let somebody know that's critical and, and you don't deviate. Um, you don't deviate from the plan. Uh, once you have it set up, you keep in contact with whoever you're, you, you said you were going to. If there is, you know, you break down, you run late or something like that. So, more to come.